In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, beloved Living the Word community. Today, we honor St. Cyril of Alexandria. Born in 376 in Alexandria, Egypt, Cyril was immersed in the rich intellectual and theological environment of his time. As the nephew of the influential patriarch Theophilus, he received an excellent education and was well prepared for leadership. Succeeding his uncle as Patriarch of Alexandria in 412, Cyril became a staunch defender of Orthodox Christian doctrine. He played a pivotal role in the Council of Ephesus in 431, where he successfully opposed Nestorianism and affirmed the unity of Christ's personhood. Cyril's extensive writings and theological contributions earned him the title of Doctor of the Church. His feast day is celebrated on June 27. St. Cyril of Alexandria's life exemplifies intellectual rigor, theological fervor, and unwavering commitment to the faith. Cyril of Alexandria was born in 376 in the bustling and intellectually vibrant city of Alexandria, Egypt. As the nephew of Theophilus, the powerful and influential patriarch of Alexandria, Cyril was well-positioned for a significant ecclesiastical career. He received a robust education, combining classical learning with rigorous theological training, which prepared him for the theological and political challenges he would later face. Cyril's rise to prominence began under the guidance of his uncle Theophilus. In 403, he accompanied Theophilus to Constantinople, where they participated in the Synod of the Oak. This synod resulted in the controversial deposition of John Chrysostom, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whom they believed guilty of various charges. This event was formative for Cyril, exposing him to the complexities of church politics and theological disputes. Upon Theophilus' death in 412, Cyril was chosen as his successor, but not without contention. His appointment led to violent clashes between his supporters and those of his rival, Timotheus. Despite this turbulent start, Cyril quickly established himself as a formidable leader and theologian. Cyril's tenure as patriarch was marked by his staunch defense of Orthodox Christian doctrine, particularly against the teachings of Nestorianism. Nestorius, the Archbishop of Constantinople, proposed that Christ existed as two separate persons, one divine and one human. Cyril vehemently opposed this, arguing for the unity of Christ's personhood and promoting the term Theotokos, God-bearer, to describe the Virgin Mary, emphasizing that she bore God incarnate. The conflict with Nestorius culminated in the Council of Ephesus in 431. Cyril played a central role at this ecumenical council, which ultimately condemned Nestorianism and affirmed that Jesus Christ is one person with two natures, fully divine and fully human. This was a significant victory for Cyril and a defining moment in the Christological debates of the early church. Cyril's aggressive approach in theological disputes often led to friction with other church leaders and political authorities. His relationship with the imperial court in Constantinople was particularly strained. Despite this, his theological expertise and persuasive arguments gradually garnered him widespread respect and support within the church. One of Cyril's strategic moves was seeking support from Pope Celestine I. This alliance with the Roman See bolstered his position against Nestorius and underscored the importance of his theological contributions to the universal church. Cyril's influence extended beyond his lifetime through his extensive writings, including biblical commentaries and theological treatises. His works were pivotal in shaping Orthodox Christian doctrine and continue to be studied for their theological depth. Cyril's impact was formally recognized when he was declared a doctor of the church in 1882 by Pope Leo XIII. This title acknowledged his significant contributions to theology and his role in defending the faith. His feast day is celebrated on June 27, honoring his enduring legacy. Saint Cyril of Alexandria is venerated as a patron saint of theologians and defenders of the faith. His life exemplifies unwavering commitment to the truth of the gospel and his profound influence on Christian theology. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the life and witness of Saint Cyril of Alexandria. Through his teachings, he defended the true faith and illuminated your church. Grant us the wisdom to seek your truth and the courage to uphold it. May we, like Saint Cyril, 
be steadfast in our faith and unwavering in our commitment to your word. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Saint Cyril of Alexandria, pray for us.